I'm going to be talking about our, basically our, our product lines and how they're positioned uh, in the space market. Um, we will start by talking about our SB0S system, which, uh, which uh, Pratish had uh, shown a little bit earlier. I'll talk about our custom space electronics and a, uh, a fairly new product that we have, uh, we call it AI Real. And uh, so let's move on with the SP0S uh, system. So the SP0S system, uh, as Pratish mentioned, um, is a single board computer with many different uh, IOs uh, and, and communications and memory uh, peripherals that you can add to it. They're generally enclosed in enclosure. We have multiple different uh, 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 enclosures to choose from, but um, it's a lot like uh, a, a lot like uh, when my son was starting to get interested in in building computers. He went to Fry's. We bought a motherboard. We bought the peripherals that he wanted to do for gaming, and uh, which included a video card, some memory, and some uh, uh, additional go fast things and. And we put the computer together, added in a, a operating system, and, and we were off and running. And uh, he uh, started his career in, 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 uh, um, in building computers. Um, so uh, in addition to the cards that you saw, we have multiple uh, uh, enclosures that you can choose from. All the enclosures come with space-rated uh, power supplies. Uh, we offer two different kinds of power supplies uh, for uh, three volts, five volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, uh, whatever whatever system might need, we can we can supply that. And um, and we we go from two slots up to eight slots, which is the limit for PC uh, CPCI backplane. Um, so we talked about a little bit about um, uh, that we that, that we are, are uh, kind of like fries to the to to the people who build computers want to build a space computer, and so I want to go through the nuts and bolts of how to actually do that. Um, so, uh, as Pratish mentioned, by using COTS hardware, you can uh, you 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 take advantage of uh, proven reliability, proven environmental performance, proven mechanical performance, proven ra radiation performance. Our, 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 on our flight products, uh, the parts that we use are, are uh, qualified and, and upstream to the E standard uh, or installation instructions, 002, uh, which gives high reliability and, 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 and uh, quality control. Um, and we are a full AS9100 compliant uh, uh, facility as well as our subcontractors. So all of that is embedded in our COTS hardware. So when you come, come to AI Tech to buy COTS hardware, you're coming, uh, you, the hardware that you're receiving has all of this embedded. And, uh, and, and, and that's really uh, the, the, the big value in using COTS in the first place. So uh, I said, we're gonna have a little bit of nuts and bolts demonstration. So if, if this is a little bit elementary, I apologize, but, but it really is simple. So, Say that you're building a, 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 a Earth observable satellite, which is my little picture on the right hand side. On that, uh, this, uh, this diagram, the satellite bus diagram, I just pulled off the web. So it's any, any bus diagram that, uh, that, that, could be, uh, that could be yours or could be uh, you know, something that you're thinking about. And it has a, a optical uh, payload and it has bus controllers for uh, power control and, and pr propulsion control. Uh, for um, altitude or maybe uh, navigation. And there might be some uh, mission processing as well. And so everything that's in the green box is, is what we are going to attempt to build using COTS hardware. Um, so in, in, in that, in that sub-assembly that I just mentioned, uh, it would include a computer, it would include a frame grabber, uh, some a memory board so you can do image processing and storage, uh, and uh, and and an enclosure. Uh, you'd also need to have I/O to your communications link, uh, your pointing and focusing for your camera, uh, avionics link uh, to to know where you're going or where you've been, and propulsion control for station keeping in your satellite. Um, so the way that you'd start is that you'd go to the AI, AI Tech website. And here I just have a picture of what you would find if you clicked on our space products and looked for single board computers. And you will see that you have a, have, have a selection to choose from. And uh, so if you click on the single board computer, you'll you find that we have what we call our SP0S, 
which is our fully space rated uh, 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 single board computer. Uh, it, 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 uh, it has many IOs and, and, and many capabilities. It's a CPCI backplane. Uh, it's been flying since, uh, or it's been, uh, it's been available since 2012 and it's been flying since 2014. Um, so if you if you went to there, you'd see that you have the SP0S, and you can you combine it with the operating system, and that's a that's that's the picture that you, that you see there. For the frame grabber, uh, we would choose the S945, and that's a picture of it there. Um, you'd choose memory uh, S992, unless you were going to the moon, you'd choose the S993. And then finally, an enclosure, uh, uh, which is our E902. It's our smallest enclosure for the for the CPI backplane. It has a, a minimum of two slots, but we can grow that to five slots. And you can see the interface uh, interfaces that are, are going to be talking to the things that are the payloads and and the navigation and control uh, buses. So in this diagram, I say that we're going to use the SP0S Ethernet port. Uh, to talk to the uh, communications uh, 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 subsystem. Uh, we're going to use RS-422 to talk uh, to, to do the pointing and focusing control for the camera. RS-422 also for the AI, uh, for the avionics uh, uh, da data, uh, and then uh, finally a propulsion control also on RS-422. Um, in this diagram, and what we have seen is a lot of our customers want to have high speed uh, a connection between uh, the image processing and storage. Uh, we can do that across the CPCI backplane as shown, but a lot of customers are asking for PCIe interfaces to make that much faster. And then uh, uh, a space wire uh, is available on the S945, as is camera link and other ca uh, standard camera commu uh, communications. And you can use a space wire, in this case, space wire to, to upload the images uh, from, from, from the camera. So uh, by using our website and having an idea about what you need uh, for, for, for the hardware to build your, your CNDH system, you can build a, uh, a, cost, a, a, a custom COTS system uh, like Pratish was describing. So this gives you uh, the, uh, a, a standalone system it, it uh, it's it's uh, benefits are that it's all built from uh, space qualified hardware, meaning that it's uh, radiation tolerant. It, it'll meet the environmental requirements. It uh, it has reliability uh, for space products that's required by NASA, and uh, and it it, it it comes in a, a, a much more affordable price, about one tenth of what a custom uh, computer would cost with those interfaces. Um, we have offerings uh, for uh, a high, higher level of, uh, of, of, uh, of components as well. So, uh, if you're in, so so we satisfy uh, the the mission requirements for reliability and, and quality as well. And so that's our SP0S system. I want to talk a little bit now about our payload electronics. Uh, we have, uh, or excuse me, custom space electronics. Uh, we have a number of different uh, build-to-print type uh, of products uh, that we could leverage off of uh, uh, that uh, to, to build anything that one of any of our customers would like. Uh, a lot of our customers uh, are, are need special communication uh, a protocol converters. So, for instance, what, what you see on the right-hand side is an Ethernet media converter. This actually converts uh, 1,000 base T to uh, 1,000 FX, which is your fiber, and 1,000 base CX, which is your time-triggered Ethernet. So this is actually used in the Orion space, uh, spacecraft and likely be used in most of uh, the lunar programs since, since uh, uh, the, uh, the, the standard, standard Ethernet protocol on, on HALO and HLS is uh, one is uh, 1,000 base CX the time triggered Ethernet, and most hardware is is uh, a 1,000 base T. So they'll use this type of media converter. Uh, we also do power distribution and control of arm and fire protocols for release mechanisms. Uh, we do other communications from say camera link to space wire. Uh, these are like I say all custom electronics. What the val what the value is to our customer is that they're getting a, uh, a, a 
custom a custom piece of hardware that has all the uh, radiation tolerance and reliability uh, 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 screening and qualification of parts uh, all, and all the high, high level of quality uh, that you would expect for space grade pr products. And um, and this uh, th this can uh, and we usually draw from parts that we already use. So in, in 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 a lot of ways, this is almost COTS, except for that it's custom defined by our uh, by our, our customer. Um, the last product line that I'd like to talk about is our AI Rio pr product line. Our AI Rio product line is a space uh, uh, qualified uh, co communication and data handling. Uh, um, uh, 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 system. <clears throat> the, uh, the 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 uh, the the great the great advantage of this is that it's swapped optimized, so it means that it's, uh, it's smaller than our our our, our CPCI backplanes assemblies. Uh, it's lighter lighter weight, and it uses less power, uh, and uh, it, and it comes at a, a relatively low a cost point for the amount of functionality that it has. What gives this uh, system uh, a, a, a lot of flexibility is that it has two FPGAs that allow it to have multiple and, uh, and various uh, communication protocols, ins and outs, and it can do communication uh, 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 um, uh, uh, conversion as well. Um, so that makes this an ideal candidate for a payload interface, for example. So you could have uh, in fact, what's becoming more a, a lot uh, a, a more popular in, especially in um, uh, commercial space, is to have multiple payloads. Uh, so they're doing they're basically doing payload sharing, much like uh, much like uh, space launch vehicles are doing payload uh, 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 sharing. So it's just a way of reducing cost per payload. So the satellite would have not just one payload, but it could have four or five or six payloads. And so this would allow you to communicate to all six because of its flexi a, a communication flexibility. And then it can translate all that data, data back to the system controller for the, for the satellite bus. The, uh, the, the way that uh, the, the, the AI Rio was that I've shown in the picture is really the uh, shown in the upper right hand corner of the slide here. It consists of a power supply module and a CPU module. In this, the CPU module is actually shown on the bottom, a picture of it shown on the bottom. And, uh, and um, it has uh, heat, it, it's a, it provides the heat sink. The, the case itself provides a heat sink for the controller board. And uh, and then there's a connector in the back that you can barely see, but it's uh, it's the I/O between different boards. And, and in this case, uh, uh, the case shown in the upper right hand corner, it's the communication to the power supply. But the great thing about the AI Rio, much like the uh, the SP0S systems, is that it's expandable. So if 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 we had a customer who wanted to um, have additional communication. Uh, 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 that we didn't provide, we could add a slice. And so that could be the th what's shown on the bottom is, a, is we, it's, a, it's the center section between the, C the CPU module and the power supply that allows it to expand to uh, uh, add additional functionality, memory. Uh, we add in one, in one system, we added a second controller board. Uh, so it had two controller boards instead of the one. Uh, each controller, uh, and, and for, for, that particular, uh, for that particular system, they needed they needed six space wire, or wire ports. Each of our controller boards have four space wire ports. So this gave them a total of eight, which they ended up using one more because it was there. So uh, again, the AI Rio product is is uh, really highly versatile in communication. Uh, a great, makes a great a, a great payload uh, uh, interface to the uh, to to the system bus, and uh, it's expandable for a whole bunch of. Um, Functionality uh, that uh, that that um, uh, that the customer might need. Um, I wanted to also talk a little bit about our product recognition levels. Um, we uh, have three different levels. Uh, you'll see this on the website, and I just wanted to uh, show this just to introduce uh, the audience to it. Um, the reason why it's important is that it allows it, the different levels allow uh, allow uh, customers uh, uh, to do concurrent uh, um, 
concurrent development while we're uh, working on the finalization of a system if they, they, they were doing a custom system. So the first level is the state uh, for, uh, for, for our space uh, 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 recognition is our series 100. It's a, it basically it's an air cooled device. It's, it's functionally equivalent to this, the full flight uh, um, uh, boards and cards. But uh, it's it's air cool. It's not it's not, and it doesn't have it doesn't share the same uh, it doesn't share the same uh, phys physical features. So it's, it could be different size, different shape, a different a different envelope, um, and it certainly doesn't have the same environmental performance and, and, and mechanical performance as the full space qualification. And what what customers do, will do is that this is a low cost uh, uh, functional unit that uh, that our customers can develop their their software and their system uh, their system controls uh, on while again like I, like I said we we might be building on uh, building a custom board for them or something that is is uh, unique that might have a longer uh, a longer lead time. Uh, I want to jump to the most right hand column uh, because that's the that, that that's the the, the the most obvious second uh, place to go that's a series 500 our full flight uh, um, uh, pro pro products those products are rated for full vacuum uh, rated for most uh, to have have a temperature range uh, 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 that is um, uh, uh, more than what most of our customers would ever use uh, the, it, it would it survives you know it's 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 rated to or it's built to survive launch conditions uh, and uh, and it, and also for uh, it's 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 designed also for uh, full vacuum and um, and additionally uh, this would be used these 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 products would be using uh, the spa full space rated uh, components on on the board so they're uh, the, the series five hundred. Typically use uh, uh, AAA parts uh, per, per per the NASA standards uh, for high reliability, for radiation report, uh, uh, performance, and for quality control. And then in the middle, uh, and 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 it's not just spatially in the middle, but it's also functionally in the middle. Is a Series 200. The Series 200 is a flight-like uh, system. It uses it uses the same uh, printed wire circuit board as the series 500, but it but 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 it may not use all the same parts. So where we have a uh, a full space uh, space rated part on the series 500, we may not use that for cost considerations uh, and delivery considerations on the series 200. And I mentioned that the series 500, all the parts are rated to uh, level two on uh, uh, per the NASA standard. Our series 200 are basically those parts, but without the qualification and upscreen, which which reduces their cost. So, roughly speaking, the series 200 is about uh, about half the cost of, of the series 500, and its purpose is to do ground level integration testing. So, you you our customers would take this uh, this unit. Uh, uh, Install it into their hardware, and then do all the, and then load up, load load their uh, software and uh, um, and images onto the onto onto the onto the system, and they can do a full functional test in in, in qualification testing on on, uh, on the ground, and uh, and and in in some cases, our customers will literally uh, do some. Uh, they'll, they'll take these series two hundreds, do their uh, do their uh, ATP on their vehicle, and they'll replace the Series 200 with the Series 500 and deliver that vehicle then for flight. So it gives us a lot of options uh, and and uh, and different uh, affordability levels for development, and, and especially to aid concurrent development of software while the hardware is being uh, being built. And lastly, I want to talk about the uh, our, our our COTS life cycle program. Um, uh, this is. This is uh, uh, three phases, all four-year phases. We have an active phase, a supported phase. In that phase, you can will will uh, support uh, any customer's request for repairs or upgrades on on equipment that they have bought. And then there's an extended uh, support phase, which is another four-year period, uh, and and that and, and that's negotiated uh, uh, when start when parts start uh, falling out of uh, 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 where we can't get them anymore, where they're come when they become obsolete. 
wanted to point out uh, where you might find our products, uh, the satellite launch and landers and habitats. Uh, we'll go by each of these quickly. Uh, the, the green on the right hand side, the green uh, 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 boxes are the subsystems that we supply hardware to. Um, some of this, uh, or I should say, we've, or we provide the fundamental hardware. The blue boxes are, are, are systems that we might provide some hardware. And you can see on the left hand side where that hardware actually might be. So for a satellite, we provide a, the, the frame grabbing payloads, uh, payload support, uh, release uh, and initiation for, uh, for, for, for hold down mechanisms, power regulations. And you can see a, a, a multi multitude of the small sat uh, payload support we, can, we, can, we provide for that as well as some of the power, power control. Um, for launch and landers, oops, sorry, uh, we, uh, we um, provide, uh, sorry, we provide tracking uh, and, uh, and acquisition. Uh, we did that on Orbcom. Uh, we do flight control computers on Spaceship One shown there. We, uh, we, we did a data logger. Uh, which actually helped to find uh, some of the problems that resulted in, 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 in its failure, uh, flight failure. Uh, and then uh, we also uh, do a full, uh, the full um, flight control computers for, uh, we're, we're, bit, we're, we're, we're trying to build, build uh, for, the, uh, for the lunar landers. So uh, from, from manned to unmanned missions, uh, high reliability to low reliability requirements, uh, we, we have hardware that can cover them all. And lastly, the habitat segment, so ISS and HALO. Uh, there's a lot of subsystems uh, because you're supporting manned missions, uh, but we've, uh, and, and we are offering full systems, but we're, like I say, we're, we're involved in a lot of the, the boxes that are blue here for guidance, power control, uh, um, data acquisition, communications, uh, and whatnot. So that's it for me. Back to you, Renee.